let's talk about nested components you can have a components inside a component for example if you create a particular components let's say pop up in which you want to use a component which is submit uh, which is button so now uh, what it says that you want to reuse pop up in which you want to reuse different uh, buttons right so one case is this in which you are saying submit let's let's talk about the other one in which you don't want to use submit you want to say right so you have two different variations let's create three right let's say this is okay so how it is helpful for you now if you want to change the title in all the pop ups that you have you will go ahead here you will say updated title you have it everywhere you ha- where you have different changes also intact here you have save intact here you have okay intact so that's component inside a component that's the benefit of it and if you are confused the only thing that you need to do is practice so that's the power of components you can put components inside a component another use case is this i have created three icons and i have made them as components when i am saying rectangle when i am saying circle when i am saying what is this triangle triangle right now there will be cases in which you will be using buttons with icons for example this guy now inside this component you have another component which is this icon right so if you are creating another instance and you want to change the icon there there will be drop right you will get a drop down and you will be able to change from rectangle to circle 